for us. And, uh, you know, we got there and he, he handled the trip well. You know, it's about 15 or 16 hours from Texas to Minnesota. The good news is you're going into cooler weather, so it's a, you know, it's kind of an easy transition for him. But, you know, some horses handle the haul and better than others. Well, you know, he handled it really good. Got there off the trailer good. Um, you know, it took a couple of days really for all of the horses to get kind of accustomed to the ground there. It's a little bit different than what they're used to. But, you know, he, uh, he really adjusted quickly. He's a, he's a very balanced stopper and it's pretty easy for him to adjust to any, it can be heavy or fast or it doesn't really matter. He's a real balanced stopper, so that part's easy. Uh, the week he prepared super easy. Got him out about 12 horses before and he was easy. I mean, I spent more time walking around talking to somebody in the practice pen than I actually did having to do any of the maneuvers. He was quiet, you know, I turned him once each way and fired current. Uh, went fast and slow, as good as I can. It's not a huge warm-up pen, but just tried it a little bit and he was locked in there. I didn't run and stop him because the ground is completely different and that's always something I'm careful about if the ground is a little bit different from the practice pen to the show pen. So I didn't run and stop him, but I was pretty comfortable that he would run and stop because he just always does. And uh, so, walked in the pen, I walked through those gates, and to me, that's probably one of the most nervous times for me to walk through the gate. It's my first trip on one, because I don't know, I like that horse, but if he walks in there and just puts his head up in the air and it's terrible, then I'm like, oh, not, you know, now what? So I'm always worried. Now, I didn't feel like he was gonna be like that, but you never know until you put him in that position. So I walked through the gate, I mean, he didn't, if he did anything, he put his head down and walked into the middle, it was pattern five, walked into the middle, he was quiet all the way there. Like, I had to tell him every step, you know, set him up for that left low departure. I had to tell him what to do all the time. I mean, he wasn't trying to beat me anywhere. Um, he was a little starstruck on the left side, hadn't been in there, and it's kind of an intimidating building. It's a, you know, big old coliseum. A lot of people, you know, out in front of them that they can see and walked in there and kind of, you know, he looked at them. He didn't lose his attention, but he looked at them, uh, loped him off, large, fast, large, fast. He didn't hit the deck slowing down as good as he could on the left side, but still, I just went to plan B and just picked my hands up a little bit, and then he slowed right down and got comfortable. So it's pattern five, so it stopped in the middle. And the best thing that horse probably does of all his maneuvers is turn to the left. And I don't know if I screwed it up or he screwed it up, but we ended up turning a zero to the left. And I, I probably, he probably started a little funky because he didn't know, you know, what I was gonna ask him for right there. And he was looking maybe a little bit at the judges or a little bit distracted. And once he started a little bit funky, I probably got into him too deep and just stayed there. So it turned out to be a zero turn. And I remember after I was done turning, I was like, great job, genius. I mean, that's the best maneuver you had and you screwed it up. So I just sat there for a second and I don't care. Well, he'll, he, you know, he's good at everything else too. So I'm just going to go have a run and lope him off to the right. He was hooked in then from then on. Circle good to the right, turn good to the right, change leads were easy. And, you know, the fun part really for him is just coming around the ends and running down the stop. And, you know, he handled the ground really good. Um, you know, first stop, he got just a freckle crooked on me to the, you know, he stopped, it was a left lead stop and I got to roll back to the right. He had just a freckle crooked at the end of it, but, so I had a big roll back to the right. Like I had to come a long ways around and he just handled it. I mean, let me pick him up and get him out of there good. So, he was really good the whole run. And I feel like he really gained at that horse show and, and uh, was everything I wanted him to be. So I'm looking forward to the future with him.